Hey world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math Freebie of the Week. I've created this weekly math series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week, we practice a specific question type. In these videos, they're short, they're sweet, and to the point. And of course, at the end of this video, I'll show you where you can access more in-depth videos to give you a safe place to practice and to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for you. Our question type focus this week is, drum roll, multi-select. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, fourth grade, here is your freebie of the week. It says to select all the statements. That means we're going to try all. We're going to look at all. We're going to try to solve all. Select all the statements that are true. That means correct in this case. So these down here, which one of those are true? And we can use this number line here to help us. We have three and four tenths and a halfway point. We've got three and five tenths with a halfway point, three and six tenths, and then another halfway point that we have there. So I am going to use this number line to help me. I'm going to start with the first one. So we have three and 45 hundredths. Well, hang on a second, because right now I only have it going to the tenths place with three and four tenths, three and five tenths, and three and six tenths. However, I do know that three and four tenths is equivalent to three and 40 hundredths. Three and five tenths is equivalent to three and 50 hundredths. And three and six tenths is equivalent to three and 60 hundredths. So that means that three and 45 hundredths is halfway in between. I'll just jot that down right up here, okay? So there's three and 45 hundredths, and then we have three and five tenths is right here. So is three and 45 hundredths greater than three and five tenths? No, it's not. It is less than, it should be going the other way. So we can eliminate this one, it is not true. Let's go to the next one. We've got three and 41 hundredths. Well, if three and 40 hundredths is at the beginning, then three and 41 hundredths would be right about here. And then three and six tenths is over here. Is three and 41 hundredths less than three and six tenths? It sure is. It is closer to the left side which means that it is left. So we can go ahead and mark that answer choice right there. All right, the next one, we've got three and 40 hundredths is less than three and four tenths. Well, that is not true because three and 40 hundredths is equal to three and four tenths. So that would make that false and we can eliminate that choice. For the next one, we've got a bunch of them. So we first have three and four tenths is less than three, three and 41 hundredths. That works out. Three and 41 hundredths, is that less than three and 45 hundredths? Yes, it is, so so far we're good. Three and 45 hundredths, is that less than three and five tenths? Yes, it is, so we're still good. Three and five tenths, is that less than three and six tenths, which is over here? Yes, so this is true. Sometimes students, when they find two answers with multi-select questions, they think that they're done. But remember that with a multi-select, we need to go through and check all of them. So let's check out that final one and decide if it is worthy of keeping or if it is false. So now we have three and four tenths. Is that less than three and five tenths? Here's three and four tenths. Here's three and five tenths is three and four tenths less than three and five tenths. Yes, so we can keep it. Next, three and five tenths, is that less than three and six tenths? Yes, it is, so we're good so far. Is three and six tenths less than three and 41 hundredths? No, it's not, so this is where it goes wrong. This one actually is three and six tenths is greater than three and 41 hundredths. So we can go ahead and eliminate that one. So the second choice and the fourth choice are your answers for this one. And that's your problem of the week. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, 
Follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good. It's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, and more confident with anything, you have to put in the practice. You have to throw down your best effort every single time. I believe in you and I will see you next time. All right. Bye.